What's up, everyone? Welcome to the July 13th edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, use the code AWESOMO when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. You'll receive one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. You'll also receive a 100% deposit bonus up to $100 on your first deposit. We have a nine game MLB slate tonight. As usual, we're going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on the stochastic.com website. Starting with the top stacks, number three, the Colorado Rockies are taking on Joe Musgrove tonight in Coors Field. Musgrove is a good pitcher. He has a 25.5% strikeout percentage this season. He has a 3.26 XFIP, but you're still getting the Rockies at home where, as usual, they're better than on the road. So far this season, they have a 99 WRC plus and a 186 ISO at home. And they're only projected for about 5% ownership with a 7% chance of being the top scoring stack tonight. So even though it is a relatively difficult matchup, uh, they are projected to go under owned against Musgrove. Number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on Adam Wainwright. Another relatively difficult matchup as Wainwright has a 3.77 XFIP this season to go along with a 19.5% strikeout percentage. But the Dodgers 119 WRC plus is the second best in baseball. They also have a very healthy 180 ISO. They're projected for 7% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring stack. And number one, the San Diego Padres taking on Chad Cool in Coors Field. They're very popular with 25% projected ownership, but they also have a 22% chance of being the top scoring stack in addition to a 13% chance of being the best value stack. They have a six implied run total tonight. And while normally teams getting this much ownership don't make it into these videos, there's a couple things working in the Padres' favor here, in addition to the good matchup against Chad Cool in Colorado. For one, there's only nine games instead of, say, 13 or 14. But also, there's a lot of good pitchers on this slate. So a lot of the offenses that we would normally target to get away from the Padres really just aren't in very good spots. And that doesn't mean that you can't go to them, but it does mean that the ownership going to the Padres is a little bit more warranted. You don't necessarily have... Um, you know, four or five other high upside teams facing mediocre pitchers, you're going to have to go to some good teams against good pitchers if you want to get away from this game. So both of those things make it a little bit easier to stomach getting to them. As always, though, if you are going here, still be aware of the ownership. Mix in lower owned guys elsewhere in your lineup. You're going to make it even more difficult on yourself than it needs to be if you just plug in the popular Padres and then whatever the popular pitchers are and go from there. Um, now, before we get to the top three tournament pitchers, we do have a new promo. For viewers of my tournament videos, use the promo code Adam MLB. It's listed at the top of the screen and receive 50% off any weekly Stochastic Plus package. This is available for new users only, but if you haven't already signed up for Stochastic Plus, use the promo code. Get yourself 50% off any weekly package. It'll give you access to the behind the scenes data, including the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool that I'm referencing in this video. So once again, use that promo code at the top of the screen, Adam MLB, get 50% off Stochastic Plus weekly. Now taking a, top, a look at the top three tournament pitchers on tonight's slate, Number three, Zach Wheeler is $10,600 in a difficult matchup against the Toronto Blue Jays. Wheeler is only projected for 3% ownership, however, with a 7% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. He's been excellent this year. He has a 27.2% strikeout percentage, 3.06 XFIP. The only thing really holding his ownership back in addition to the difficult matchup with Toronto is there are a ton of good pitchers on this slate. So you're just not going to prioritize paying for Zach Wheeler against the Blue Jays, but that does drive down his ownership and make him a good tournament option. Number two, Shohei Otani, $10,500 price tag, also has a very difficult matchup as he takes on the Houston Astros. The Astros active roster has a 19.4% strikeout percentage and a 111 WRC+. plus. But Otani has the second highest strikeout percentage on the slate this year at 34.4%. 2.55 XFIP for the right-hander as well. He's projected for about 13% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring pitcher and a 4% chance of being the top value pitcher. And number one, Shane McClanahan, $11,500. You're paying up a bit. You know, there's plenty of talent to be had for less than him. For example, Otani and Wheeler, who I already mentioned, but $11,500 for the lefty who has a 1.98 XFIP and a 36% strikeout percentage this year. He does have a difficult matchup against the Red Sox who have a 113 WRC plus and a 21.6% strikeout percentage on their active roster, but he gets to face them at home in Tropicana Field. And also when you look at the Red Sox lineup, not that it's it's weak anywhere, but 
it's not one of those lineups where you're just running into good hitters top to bottom. It's more so that those active roster numbers are being heavily driven by the middle of the order, like Rafael Devers and J.D. Martinez. When you get to the bottom of the order, you can expect McClanahan to have plenty of success against guys like Christian Arroyo, Jeter Downs, um, Bobby Dahlbeck, depending on what the lineup looks like. He's projected for about 11% ownership with a 12% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks, number three, the Colorado Rockies, Number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Number one, the San Diego Padres. And the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Zach Wheeler. Number two, Shohei Otani. And number one, Shane McClanahan.